Welcome to Big Event Ideas, presented by Amy Baldwin and brought to you by Aloysius Catering. When you're organising a party, fundraiser or any other event, Finding the right ambience and within a budget can be quite challenging sometimes. Recently, I've met with Lisa from Once Upon a Party who's given us some great tips on how to take your event from bow wow to wow. Thanks for having us today um, on Big Event Ideas, Lisa. It's really cool to be here. I'm excited to learn all about event planning from you. You are the go-to girl for it in town. <laughs> Thank you. So tell me a bit about how you started and a bit of the day in the life of you. Okay, so as an event planner, um, my role changes every day, which I love. I love that it's not the same. Yeah. Um, so one day I'm doing a baby shower, the next day I'm doing a spooky Halloween ghouls, <laughs> and then the next day I'm doing a wedding. So I love that. Yeah. It's a little bit of everything. Um, the event planning side of things, basically here at Once Upon a Party, we cater for um, retail purchases. So if you want to do it yourself, mm -hmm. right through to hiring items um, to make your big day special, whether it's a corporate event or what. And um, and then we also theme things for you. So, you know, we can go for a, a vintage theme or a, a very glamorous theme or a, a, you know, a steampunk theme or a horror theme. Yeah. <laughs> so, cool. Yeah, so that's kind of what we do. I can't say a typical day because yeah. we don't have typical days. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good. Yes. Um, and so how did you get into, um, how did you get into it? Like, how did Once Upon a Party start? Okay, um, uh, basically my friend and I, um, got known for for throwing the best kids parties <laughs> around and people started to ask us to help them. Cool. So it went from there. Um, being a small town, Bundaberg's a small town, we found it difficult to source what we wanted. Yeah. Uh, so that's where the retail side of things came into yeah. it. Um, and then, you know, looking at people and trying to help people with their budgets, that's where the higher side of things came into yeah. it. So people can hire items rather than purchasing outright mm -hmm. and, and save some money. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, so it's been a, a journey. Mm -hmm. um, it's been six years now. So so wow. lots of events. Yeah. <laughs> And you've obviously probably grown each year and, you know, the, the, as you do. The one thing with the events industry is it does change. Yeah. You know, things that are trending now, things that are trending tomorrow, it's, it's always different. Yeah. So it does change, which yeah. is nice. Keeps things interesting. Yes. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um, so what, um, if I'm planning an event for the first time and just have no idea where to start, um, where do you start and, and what's involved? And well, you come and see me. <laughs> <laughs> so come and see me, give me a call. You know, we do, I'm, I'm very um, generous with my information. Yes. <laughs> so I'm happy to help people because yeah. it can be overwhelming. If yeah. you've never planned a 21st, it can be overwhelming. Um, things with liquor licenses and things, you know, there are some legal requirements there that need to be attended to. Um, we've got some beautiful venues in this town, so we're lucky. Basically, the first thing I would suggest is have a bit of an idea. Um, Pinterest, we love Pinterest, mm -hmm. but it can also be very dangerous in that you want 50 million things that don't match. <laughs> so what I suggest is create a theme, have a theme and try and stick to it. If it doesn't fit your theme, pop it aside, you can use it at another occasion. Um, also keep in mind your venue. You know, your venue may allow alcohol, your venue may not. Um, and then also keep in mind your numbers. Um, if you're having 100 people, it's a lot different to sorting out something for 25 people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you don't want to self-cater for something for 100 people. You yeah. want to look at caterers. <laughs> um, so all of those kind of things create, I guess, the the foundry, the foundation for what you're doing. Yeah. Um, and then places like at Once Upon a Party, we have got quite a range of your baby showers, your weddings, your 21st, your 18th, that we can help you yeah. create your theme if you're not sure what you're doing. Yeah. So when organising events, there's so many do's and don'ts um, that you can come across. So number one, I think I want to know what is the biggest don't <laughs> that, that you can have? Um, don't try and do everything yourself. It's just not worth the headache. <laughs> um, I have beautiful people that come in and say we want to do everything ourselves and then they come back the Friday before the event and go, 
oh my gosh, I'm about to have a breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> so don't try and do everything. So we have some fantastic local businesses that can help you with catering. They can help you with balloons. You know, we can help you with all of that sort of stuff, hiring gear, delivery, yeah. things like that, just so that you're not run off your feet. Mm -hmm. Because by the time the evening comes, you're exhausted. Yeah, and you don't enjoy it. You don't enjoy it. You don't enjoy it. All you remember was the stress. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I would definitely um, allocate, even if it is allocated to other friends and family, but just don't take it all on yourself. Yeah, so that's the biggest stone. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And, and what would you say, you know, what are some key things to do when organising an event that, yeah. you know, you should that you think that we should keep on top of and that yep. we might miss if we're, you know, in the dilemmas of everything? Yes, yes. Sometimes I think, um, particularly with baby showers and first birthdays, sometimes weddings, people get super excited, mm -hmm. understandably, um, and it gets, the budget gets blown because we just go too far. Sometimes mm -hmm. simple is, is best, yeah. you know. Um, so I say keep it simple. Yeah. Um, like I said, allocate if you can. <laughs> Um, do have a wet weather plan. Um, you know, we have beautiful climate here, but do have a wet weather plan. Yeah. Um, and also do think about things like toilets. You know, if you're doing something at home, you know, 60 people, mm, <laughs> look at maybe hiring some toilets in and things like that. Um, if you're having an event at home, you know, maybe hire in some glassware and things like that. Lots of little things slip through. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually um, at a wedding the other day and the toilets had like a little perfume for the ladies. Yes. And <laughs> yes. Nice. That was really cute. A little bit, you know, uh, little touches to, you know, make the night. A um, little bit of mozzie night. spray. Yeah, that's, outside. that's right. Yes. No. <laughs> Cool. And lighting is another one. Do you yeah. think about lighting? Because if you've got dark corners, especially if you're doing it at home, you've got dark corners in the gardens and things like that, people tend to avoid them and you get this cramped yeah, feeling. Yeah. yeah, so think about lighting because lighting, you know, some fairy lights in the corner yeah. and, and things like that can really make it. Excellent. And you were saying um, that lots of people can blow the budget. Yes. <laughs> so it's easy to do. <laughs> I could imagine. So do you have like tips on, you know, um, keeping a budget, like maybe um, different, you know, things to allocate more of yeah. your budget to or less, you know? So I always say, um, especially for big events, corporate events, weddings particularly, um, what's the most important thing to you? Yeah. If the most important thing is food, yeah. make sure you spend a part of, like a, a good portion of your budget on your food. Yeah. If perfect photos are important to you, spend the money on a really good photographer. Yeah, so everyone's budget will be different because everyone's needs are different, you yeah. know. Um, with regards to keeping within your budget, <laughs> um, just be realistic. There's sometimes things you can do yourself. Mm -hmm. um, there's sometimes things that, for example, at Once Upon a Party, we have DIY kits. So, you know, you can it you can do the labour yourself and and DIY it yourself. Yep, yeah, awesome. so you get that real that real um, feeling of doing it yourself. Yeah, um, without the expense of of you know having to get everything. Yeah. Um, so that and also drinks. Keep an eye on your drinks. Um, if you're at a venue that has a bar. Um, you know, maybe look at your bar tab mm -hmm. um, because that's one area that can blow very quickly. Or maybe quickly. BYO. BYO. That could be a good choice. Yep, some venues allow that yeah. and it can um, it can substantially make a difference. It yeah. can be thousands. Yeah. <laughs> to your, yeah. depending on your event. Yeah. And your drinkers. Yeah. Who <laughs> <laughs> you invite. That's it. <laughs> cool, excellent, that's great. So um, there's so many um, different trends that people can have when organising an event, and, but what's trending right now? What are people asking you for? Um, we're in a bit of a change over at the moment. This is why I love this industry. <laughs> it just changes all the time. So at the moment, um, we're just finishing off, I, I, we're, I think we're on the tail end of vintage, yeah. but I think it'll keep going for a bit longer. Yeah. Um, but we're getting into um, more that industrial okay. feel yep. yes so things are going to more that in there's kind of two two thoughts the industrial steampunk kind of yes. look um but also the mercury glasses and very pretty golds yep. are coming so it depends on the event you know yeah. for weddings golds are going to be the new big thing i think okay um it, that's what's trending in europe and then usually we get it come through in, in sydney melbourne yeah and we're a little bit behind <laughs> we're a country town <laughs> at least it still comes. That's right. <laughs> and by the time it comes, we've got plenty of ideas. Yeah. And what do you like, um, not that you should have a favourite, but you know, what's 
you know, if someone's having a wedding or, you know, what's your favourite um, theme? Do you have one? My, well, my personal favourite is, my home is in this style too, is in that rustic vintage yeah. look. You know, cool. I love the solid furniture yeah. and the real, <laughs> yeah, that, that's me. That's, yeah. yeah. Um, but at the same time, I must say, sometimes you step back and you kind of look at what you've done, it's all bling and it's yeah. totally not my personal style. Yeah. But I think, oh gosh, that looks good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. So, yeah. Excellent. Cool. Well, thank you so much for having us, Lisa. No um, it was really good. And if you could tell everyone where you are and where to find you. Yes. So um, we're at Once Upon a Party. So we're on to Calvin Street. Um, a little old church building, very gorgeous little old church building. Um, and we're here from Tuesdays till Saturdays. And we're on Facebook as well. Cool. Excellent. Well, again, thanks for having us. And, and it was really good to chat. So make sure to come and see Lisa for your small event, big event or your event. See you next time. Want more big event ideas? Head over to www.aloysius.com.au slash event ideas.